veins is showing heavy foot clan activity. They're taking hostages. Let's rock and roll. Say a word about this to anyone. If you do, we will find you. Yeah, we'll find you. I'm sorry, that came across super creepy. Okay, that's. <laughs> we will find you though. My sons, I have trained you your whole lives to protect the city above, but I fear you are not ready for its greatest threat. We're taking your armor to the next level. Shredder. Sensei, you must stop Shredder. Together. Stronger than he can ever be. Let's go save my brothers. Poor Tiddles. One's fighting a robot samurai. Why not? No, that's stupid. They're turtles. Is there anything else we should know about them? They're ninjas. <laughs> that was phenomenal! What a pleasant surprise! This movie looks very good. And if I were Marvel, I would be a little nervous because this comes out the week after Guardians of the Galaxy and there's a very similar vibe going on here. Uh, as I said, pleasantly surprised uh, how good this trailer is. I thought the first one wasn't bad and I, I know a lot of people were uh, ragging on it, making fun of it. I think Michael Bay's an easy target these days. Uh, however, uh, he's laughing all the way to the bank, uh, as Liberace used to say. Uh, and I think the people also were a little bit um, thrown off by the look of the turtles. But you know what? These are Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I mean, they're delivering what they promised. I don't know how else they would look. Uh, and I think they're very convincing, very real. And I think that's going to be a selling point for this movie, uh, is that this takes the, the subject matter so seriously. And as you can see from this trailer, this is an awesome trailer. This is a serious trailer for a big budget action film. This isn't like some kiddie movie, uh, like those live action animation hybrids, uh, Smurfs and uh, Alvin and the Chipmunks, although those did very well at the box office, but they've fallen out of favor recently. This is a much Michael Bay action movie uh, and I think it looks like it's well done to me and has a lot of great moments in this trailer alone. I think Michelangelo is going to be my favorite. He's the one in orange who has that really funny exchange with Megan Fox about uh, we'll find you. Oh no that sounded creepy. Okay but we'll find you. I thought that was really well handled. They did a really nice job there and I loved Shredder. I thought that was a really not only a scary cool moment where, uh, where he had all those swords but it was a funny one where it's like I have two swords. No I have like six or eight swords. That was hilarious but then when he like um uh, projected them, kind of like Archangel a little bit, uh, you know, when uh, Angel of the X-Men became one of the horsemen of Apocalypse, uh, those kind of uh, metal projectiles through the air, it was a similar effect and it looked really cool. So this trailer, I think it did a good, nice job on story, I think it did a nice job, you know, at the beginning, I think it did a nice job establishing uh, that they're going to be true to the source material and respectful, so I think this trailer succeeded there. And then at the end of the trailer, with the music coming in and the quick cuts and the action sequences, I think it establishes is going to be a fun ride. So not to take anything away from Guardians of the Galaxy, that still looks very good to me, but I just think that is there room for both of these in August, especially so close together? I'm sure Marvel wishes. And also don't forget The Expendables 3 is going to be uh, jumping into this group as well. August is starting to look very 
good. But I'm sure Marvel wishes there was maybe just one extra weak cushion in between the two films. Because I think, as I said, I think they have a similar audience. But this looks great. I think the only small problem is Megan Fox. But Megan Fox seems, um, you know, really, you know, Mia culpa for the way she treated Michael Bay. Uh, they seem to have patched things up. And I think, you know, despite maybe her lack of acting ability, I think Megan Fox is certainly looks like she's uh, committed. She's you know, she's playing along. She doesn't. She's not embarrassed to be in this movie. I'm sure she's just happy to be working right now. Uh, you know, she did the promotion for this trailer, uh, and so I think that's all we can really ask of her. I guess um, of Megan Fox at least. But Will Arnett also a great choice. But clearly the stars here are the Ninja Turtles, and I, I just I've told you I, I was never I've never been a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fan. I've never gotten the appeal. But this looked fun to me. This looked like a fun ride, and that's what you want out of this. So were you pleasantly surprised? Which turtle seems to be your favorite? I mean, Michelangelo did seem to get the most screen time. Uh, but uh, what do you think of Shredder also? Do you think he looks cool with all the uh, swords? Or do you think, you know, you don't make jokes about Shredder, no matter how funny they might be? And also, what do you think of Megan Fox? Too much of a hindrance on the uh, film? Or do you think as long as she's game, it's going to be all right? And finally, how do you feel about the Guardians of the Galaxy Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, matchup. Do you think that both can survive in August, or do you think one's going to, uh, unfortunately, at the very least, have a deflated uh, box office performance? Because, you know, there's only so many movie tickets to go around, I guess. All right, what, what, what are you most excited to see in August? And write your thoughts down below, and thank you for tuning in to my trailer review. You can watch some more episodes right now.